Okay, hello everybody. Can you hear me just fine? Because I had to unplug my mic and such earlier. So I'm hoping that I've gotten it right now. But um, the stream is kind of early and it's mainly because I wanted to do something. Um, my last stream, I kind of played some games I didn't really like. So I'm going to let you guys choose um, what I play next. I actually downloaded um, three demos. <laughs> um, okay, good. You can hear me. Um, also, I broke a nail and I'm really, really bummed about that. But anyway, I downloaded um, three demos and I want to play through those and kind of get a vote from you guys what you want to see me play. Um, one is called Don't Be Afraid. Um, I have study session in 30 minutes. Okay. Um, school and such comes first. School and such comes first. But um, one is called Don't Be Afraid. The other one is called Locked Up. And then there's one called um, the Mortuary. I can't pronounce that right, but you know what I mean. Mortuary Assistant. Mortuary? Is that how you say it? Either way. Okay. So... What I want to get into first, let's play Locked Up first. Yeah, I want to play Locked Up first. Let's see. Games from Puppet Combo. I haven't played anything from Puppet Combo, but I've been hearing it a lot. So maybe, it may be coming. But um, let's go ahead and get into this one. Um, give it a second. It will capture it. There we go. Okay. Make sure you guys can hear the game. Let me put on my headset so I can hear the game. Okay. Now, this is going to be my first playthrough of all of these. So... <laughs> Hopefully they're okay. Hello there, bowling them under the table. How are you? Okay. New game. Now tell me, is the game too loud or anything like that? I had to change a lot of settings, like kind of start over. Your bed is trending on Twitter? Um, okay. <laughs> Why is my bed trending on Twitter, if that's true? Okay. Hopefully y'all can hear the game okay. All right. Um, we have a newspaper. There was a mass murder of people. The suspect was arrested. Perhaps this is the work of some cult. We are looking for the leader's headquarters along with other participants. Okay. Um, okay, we have a letter on top of here. Oh, we have a, do we have a lighter? Okay, I don't think we do. Okay. It's typically always a cult, you are right. What is this? Okay, it's an old woman, I'm assuming, and a baby. My day was pretty good, actually. My day was really good. Oh, okay, here goes our lighter. Here goes our lighter. I'm going to take that. Okay, we got a lighter and we have a key take the key um let's see right mouse pick up an item open the door with a key okay dismiss okay okay let's try door number one okay that doesn't open um Okay. Okay, thank you for the tab. Hey Barbie. Um Okay. Oh no. Too loud. 
uh, I don't know what I'm doing in this room. Let's see. There's a baby doll in here. Hold on, let me see. We got toys. The fuck was that? What was that? Okay. Were all these up here before? No. No. I want to see if there's anything on like the back of these I'm supposed to be looking at maybe. No. It's a ghost baby. Not all the damn toys is in the crib. Okay. Um, can we use this door yet? No. Oh, we got some creepy kids. Their names are Bill, Matilda, Kate, Grace, and Neil, maybe? Okay. Gil and Matilda's wedding. Okay. Um, I love your shirt. Yes, I got it from Shein. I finally found a place to get good clothes. Now, is the game too low for you guys or no? I just want to be sure. Okay, stuff is appearing. You can't really hear it? Okay. Hold it. Let me fix this because I figured it was kind of low. Is this a little bit better? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing in this room? This game is strange. What am I doing? Okay. Um, there we go. Five people died. Two were injured in a collision between a motorcycle and a pickup truck. Okay, baby's crying. Okay, toys are out of the crib. Okay. And someone closes in. All right. <laughs> now we're stuck in this one room. First of all, like, am I insane? Because why does one baby get to be in the crib and the other baby got to be on the floor? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I get it. 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 Thank you for the subs, Last King. Thank you. And I think somebody else subbed too. I'm sorry if I didn't see you. Um, okay. Is there another toy? Yep, here goes another toy. Oh, forgot one. Oh, now baby's happy. One of these doors just unlocks. Which one is it? This is a very strange game. Okay, now we got a picture and a glass of wine. Somebody was a fucking alcoholic and a pill head. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay. Put the baby in the crib? <laughs> the fucking baby left. I can't put... Jesus Christ! Okay. Hey, friend! Look at that. Oh, he don't look nice. He's bald. You know how I feel about bald. Them normally the evil motherfuckers. What you watching? Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. That's your uncle? I hope not. Oh, the picture is back. Okay, we can't put it up now. Um, okay, there's more peels and stuff around. Can I leave out this door yet? No, I can't. This room just get darker? Um. Oh shit! You need some lotion for that, sir. Ooh. Need some ointment or something. That seems like plaque eczema. Oh, okay. Well, he left. I'm coming. Y'all want to answer it? Should we answer it? I don't know if I should answer it. Let's see. A fucking course. Okay. They just in here watching TV while the baby is crying? That's not a good wig. Oh, look at her feet! Are that her hand? Oh, that's her hand. That's her hand. He's still over there looking real dry. He look like leather. All right. Can we get in there to the baby? The baby's crying. Um. Oh, okay. Well, fuck you too then. Okay. Um. Somebody needs to turn off this fucking music. Thing on TV? No. <laughs> they laughing at me because I don't know what the fuck to do. Oh, did that door just unlock? No. Did this clock do anything? No. Um. Okay. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh. They done murdered the fucking baby. Okay. Listen. Somebody call social services. Or the police. I think the police is more... Social services can't do it. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Okay. 
Why are they playing these games? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Okay. Got an enemy. Okay. Oh, that's romantic. Got little tea lights and a uh, um, lovely bloody axe. Satan to add a little razzle dazzle to it. I would understand this more if it was a real baby, but it's a doll and I'm like really confused. Okay. Am I putting the Am I putting the toys back in the crib? It won't let me drop the toy. Oh, we're we're sacrificing the fucking dog. We're mentally ill. Okay. We're very mentally ill. Okay. Um. Okay. This seems like a proper time to leave. Um. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's asshole -ish. Oh, okay. We can leave now. Somebody done took all the fucking furniture. All right. Word. Okay. That's how you know you're doing something right. Ah. Uh. Okay. I've been played. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. Take. We're going to pop this motherfucker in the VCR. Watch us a movie. All right. Can we sit in the chair? No, we can't. All right. I don't like this movie. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, um, oh, we're in the movie. Okay. Ooh, there's somebody hanging there, I think. Can we go in here? We can't go any further. Okay, well, that was locked up. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. Did y'all at least like that one? Maybe. Perhaps. Was it good? That was underwhelming? Well, it's a demo. It's a demo. What I'm doing today is just going through demos to see what you guys like. It was all right. 
anticlimactic. Um, I just got here. So, oh, you're fine. That was interesting. Like I said, these are just demos um, because I wanted to gauge kind of what I like and what you guys like too. So um, our next one is going to be, we're going to close this one out. I think the next one we'll do is the mortuary assistant. Okay. That one was good. Okay. Okay, let's start. Hi, Valerie. It's Raymond. I know it's late and I'm really sorry, but I have a huge favor to ask. Damn, can I read? I had a late pickup over at Sacred Waters and I just started the embalming maybe 20 minutes ago, but I have a family emergency. I need to leave the off. Fuck it. Y'all read it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I'll have a checklist for you just in case. I took care of some of the prep work already. I'll really appreciate it. All right, I'll be there in just a moment. You thought I was reading chat? No, I was trying to read these motherfuckers text messages. Okay, we are um, a mortician's assistant. Here goes our checklist. Okay, space bar to look at clipboard. Okay, we need to get a coat and gloves. All right. Okay, we just jumping right on in. She's definitely seen better days. We got to give her a name. What's her name? She looked like a Eunice to me. Sue? We can call her Sue. Rhonda? Um, let's see. Sue? Gertrude? Gertrude is good. Greta! I love Greta. Okay, I'm sorry. We got a name. We got a name of Greta. All right, Greta, we're we're gonna take care of you. Oops. Okay, we're gonna take care of you. Well, there goes our gloves. Um. Okay, we need a coat. We need a coat. Here goes our coat. All right. So. Um, I didn't bring the tools out yet, so bring tubing, syringes, scalpel, and trocars, whatever the fuck that is. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we need this. We need this. We need this. Okay. Oh, I got to pick up shit one at a time? Greta, you better be black. Get out. Lord, I got tongue tied. You better be glad I love you. There we go. Okay, um, don't need that. Don't need that. <laughs> when you lie on your resume and actually get the job? Absolutely. Oh, we need this. We need this. We need this. We're going to make her look nice, though. We're going to make her look nice. Okay, a scalpel. We need that shit. Okay. Um, we don't need this. We don't need that. Um, we need this. Okay. All right. Well... I guess they know I lied on my resume. So, I'm not really. But they didn't have to be that mean about it. Shit. Okay. 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 So, we need um, formaldehyde. We're making some mixture to put in this bitch so she don't stink at her funeral. Okay. Um, ooh. Here goes the first thing. Here goes the first thing. 
That's only a drop. I think she need more than that. She like a tall motherfucker. Um. Okay. Do we need this? Nope, we don't need that. Uh. We need this. All right. What else we need? Formaldehyde. All right. That ain't it. That ain't it. Um, no. We can't go in this room. That ain't it. That's not it. Um, there we go. We about to embalm this bitch. Okay. Create an incision in the carotid artery and the jugular vein. All right, we can do that. Okay, we can do that. We need the scalpel. Uh, won't let me pick up any of that shit. Oh, Greta. I wonder how she died. Oh, wait. Well, damn it. Sheila's in it. That which will not be in must break. The broken will become my vessel. I am here. Those who do not know me will know me when they hear I think they made a mistake at the nursing home. She's, she's, she's alive. I am here. Those who do not know me. She's definitely alive. I ain't got no light. Do you know me? Greta. She must know I lied on my resume and I'm not a mortician. This bitch done wrote all over the damn wall. Is anybody here a mortician? Cause I don't think they supposed to do that. Um, oh, that's ominous. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well. Oh, that's locked. That's locked. That's locked. Um, create an incision in the carotid artery and the jugular vein. She need to get back on the table so we can cut her. Uh. Okay. Um. Should we like wrestle her down to the ground or? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm playing this one. I like it. I like it. <laughs> We're playing this. We're playing this. <laughs> okay, I like this one. We're definitely doing it. Okay. Okay, that was the uh, mortuary assistant. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Okay. Let's see. Um yes that one's definitely coming i'm going to have to i want to say i can go ahead and buy that one actually i think i can go ahead and buy that one um so the next one is going to be let's close this one out Okay, so our next one is going to be Don't Be Afraid. So, all right. That should be coming up on the screen here. Okay. I'm afraid they can't tell me what to do. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. Let's get into a new game.
Okay, I'm not doing that. I guess this is just an opening scene. What is this? Is this really for me? Hmm. Jamie the Guitar Boy. Oh, Theodore. Beautiful work. Uh, Thank you. What we got going? How beautiful you are. Am I a doll? Where are my manners? My I think I'm a doll. Mr. Franklin. Oh, I definitely a pedophile. Mm -mm. Bring you. Yep. Your body is so smooth. What Beautiful the fuck I tell See? It seems you are 11, 12 years old. Okay, what is this? Hmm. Why are you so quiet? I see a model without voice function. Relax. Okay. Um. Can you turn the volume up? Speak like you've never. On which one? Me or the, or the game? Y'all can't hear the game. Sit here and wait for me. Oh. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. I okay, the game. Okay. Um, let's turn up the game. Okay. Okay, this better? Oh, use um, left mouse to interact with objects. E to continue. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got some at the bottom. have to get out of this room you think so we're gonna try the thing with the bloody handprint obviously this seems set up ish because I feel like nobody would put a key right there but okay yes I am a child apparently um, my bunny why is he here I think we have been kidnapped. Hey, friend. No? Okay. Um, can we crouch? No, we can't do any of that. Okay. I haven't seen the same picture in a lot of games. All right. It does look very musty. This must be the door to the exit. It's probably locked. I have to find a key. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, can I pick it open? I think. Maybe. Okay, no. I know when to leave. Oh, there's more. Okay. That room wasn't always right there, I don't think. Okay. I hate to admit it, but that fish lady looks like some... <laughs> I mean, 
She's a statue I'd like to have in my house, I guess. Okay, without light, you can't see anything. Your candle may go out sometimes, so be careful. And check if there are some candles around to pick up. You can carry only one candle at a time. Okay. Where did I put my axe? Okay, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Um, this is kind of disturbing that I'm playing a child. Okay, that's the room I came from. Um, the mannequin will blow out my candle? Motherfucker. Oh, really? Okay. Um. Whew, she got a wagon on her. That kind of looks like Kim Kardashian from the back, don't it? Like the cuffage. Okay, we can't go in front of her. We're going to go around. He's smart. All right. Casual, casual, casual. Okay, that's a, um, that, that looks like a dead baby. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know. All right. I don't know about this game. I'm going to play some more of it, but I don't feel okay with it. Yeah. Well, we got another ghost with indigestion. Oh. Okay. What is this? Franklin, we are still waiting for your response. Mom got sick and now she's getting worse. Um, please write me back. You can call me if you want. I remember leaving you my number. If you still care about us, just give us a sign. Mom and I love you very much. Take care, Ella. Okay. Who is this? Okay. She's about to do a trick for us. Full 180. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to play this because of the premise. I don't think I like it. Franklin, I found something that might interest you. Did you know that you can hollow the mannequin, then chop a corpse into small pieces and put them inside the figure? The process requires some work, but the final effect will be very appealing. Moreover, this act will fit perfectly into your obsession with mannequins. I would kill to see something like that. Okay, um... Okay. I'm looking for a key. Hold on. Because it gave me a clue. It's in a hand. Okay, it's in a hand. Well, fuck, there we go.
Is she like slapping his ass? Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to go in here with this weird lady. Oh, okay, okay. Screwdriver, fish. Oh no, okay, the fish, the fish, the fish lady. Okay, we, we walk too slow. We walk too slow. Okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, damn it. Okay, so well, 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 what a clever boy. Let's see, and then they use it as I'm going to have to um give this game a no. <laughs> yeah. This game's a no. Yeah, it's a no. I don't want it. <laughs> Cause I'm not scared of a lot. But this is, um, nah. Nah, we're done with this game. Okay. I don't even want it. I would not put my money towards that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the second game looked like the um the best game. See, it's not the mannequins to me, it's the premise of the game. What I'm getting from it is that I'm a kid who's been kidnapped and there is this obvious sexual deviant that's trying to get an axe and kill me. And unfortunately, that is like kind of like a real life which some of these games are kind of real life situations a little, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't like that. That's not my cup of tea. Okay. But, um, the second game, the mortuary assistant, I did like that one. That one was cool. I like that one. And then locked up. I do want to see more of that one. Um, I know the mortuary assistant I don't think it's out yet, but it will be out next month. Don't be afraid. No, not don't be afraid. Sorry. Um, locked up. I can actually go ahead and buy that. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go with locked up. But now, um, hey there, Infinite and Bruja Hexa. Um, yes, it's not going to be available until next month. But I did want to give y'all just like a, but we're definitely, we're going to play that. We're going to play that in one big go. <laughs> I really want to play that one. Um, but yeah, Don't Be Afraid is a dub. I don't play games like that. I don't want to play a game like that. And yeah, Locked Up. Okay, Locked Up, we definitely can. I need Greta. <laughs> I need Greta too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so those are the games that um, I kind of came across. I do apologize again for Don't Be Afraid. I probably should have looked way more into the premise of the game. I did not. I was just looking at games that had demos, and I wanted to play them for y'all so y'all could, you know, see them. Um, so, yeah. Now, are there any um, Greta Robin Jenkins is her full name? <laughs> And I am good, Logic. How are you? Um, so, yeah. 
We're go we're gonna do locked up. You know what? Matter of fact, we can do locked up tomorrow. We can do locked up tomorrow. Definitely. But like I said, um, the mortuary assistant doesn't come out till next month. So we got to wait until next month for Greta. But what I want to hear from y'all now is um, game suggestions. Because obviously I'm not easily afraid. <laughs> but um, I'm not into phasmophobia. Phasmophobia was really boring. And the games that I played the other day just didn't do it for me. And it doesn't seem like it did it for y'all. <laughs> So what are some games in which you guys want to see? Soma? Okay. Here's the thing about Soma. I can't play Soma. And the reason I can't play Soma is like first two minutes or so. I don't know if it's the color scheme or what it is. I get anxiety from it. I don't know why. I like, I literally cannot play it. I had it on, um, I have it on PlayStation. I bought it. Because I wanted to play it, but I cannot do it. Um, I don't know if you like it, but Amnesia. I have Amnesia on PlayStation. I have all of them, actually. And my capture card was just installed today, so we can make that happen. Um, the Medium, that is on the list. Even though it does look confusing to me because of the two screens. <laughs> but that's on the list. Um, now, what is Puppet Combo? What is, what is Puppet Combo? I've never, like, I keep seeing people say it, but I haven't looked into it like I should have. Have you played Devour? I have not played it, but I have it. I have not played it, but it's one of the first games that I got. Um, but y'all also told me to play Phasmophobia, and a few of y'all saw how that went, so. Visage? I'm sorry. I have played Visage, and I'll give Visage... A six out of ten. But I've I've played Visage. It took me two and a half hours. Three hours maybe to complete Visage. Um but yet Puppet Combo is a retro retro horror. Okay. I have to look into it. Puppet Combo is a company or developer they make. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well I'll look into them. I want you to play Little Nightmares so bad. I have Little Nightmares on PlayStation, so we can make that happen. But I'm not going to say I'm good at it because I kept yeeting that little girl off the side of things. So y'all will have to bear with me. <laughs> um, okay. Limbo. Oh, I saw Limbo. And I like the whole aesthetic of it, actually. So that is a possibility. I do like Limbo. But I'm going to definitely look into anything. Listen, Supermassive is my favorite. Yes, anything by them. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but they're super good. Okay, we'll look into those. Matter of fact, whenever I get off of here, thank you for that follow, um, Kids Smoke 70. And I see other people, um, Ronjo2, Darkstone Digital. I'm sorry, I get really into the game. I loved it about the start part two of Little Nightmares. Ooh, and also, also go check out um, Infinite Logic. He is a member of Contagion that I'm in, um, the gaming family, and he gives like a really, really dope ass energy. And he has like this Sunday cafe thing going that I love, and I look forward to Sunday now. <laughs> um, Dead Inside. I've never heard of Dead Inside. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have to look it up. We're going to have to look it up. Um, will you play the new FNAF when it comes out? Hold on. I just sent you a digital download code for a plague. To oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Where did you send that to? If you don't mind me asking so I can see. Never mind, it's called Inside. Okay. I'll have to look that up. But I want to, like, for March, I want to have a good category of games. The, um, I, whenever I went into this, I told myself I am not going to play a game that I don't like just because it is popular. 
because I feel like I won't give off the energy that I need to give you guys and you guys will see that I'm bored. So, <laughs> yeah. It's in your Twitch whispers where I, okay, okay. Thank you so much for that, by the way. We, that is definitely going to be on the list. So we have Dead Inside. We have Things by Puppet Combo. Um, no, Inside. That's the name of the game. We have Little Nightmares, A Plague's Tale, um, Devour. I have not played Devour yet, so I will give it a chance. But I'm going to give it a chance off stream first just to see if I like it. Because I don't want to test something for the first time on stream and yeah. But Limbo, I definitely want to fuck with. Because I like the whole, how it looks so different. Like, yeah. <laughs> also, I think you would get a kick out of Pacify. You won't get scared, but it'll be some fun doing the task while being chased. How many, did I buy Pacify? All the popular games, I went ahead and just like, um, I went ahead and got them. Because people were like, yeah, you got to play this. Hey, Royal, how are you? I hope you're not scared of rats. Okay, I know there's a lot of rats in A Plague's Tale. <laughs> so I, I do know that much. Thankfully, I'm not scared of rats on a video game. I don't want them in my actual physical presence, though. So, there. <laughs> you're my reason for my new interest in horror games. Listen, I've always liked things scary, and I know people say that I don't get scared. And the reason being is I grew up um, with an older sibling. Me and her were always watching scary movies. So this is like my thing. I'm more of a storyline person than getting scared. Just making a little dinner for the kids and me. Um, you missed it, actually, Royal. I played um, a game called Locked Up which was pretty good. It was good. But the game that we definitely are waiting for, which it won't be out until next month, is The Mortuary. I feel like I'm not saying that right. The Mortician's Assistant. We're going to call it that. Um, but we're definitely going to play that game. And then I was starting on a game called Don't Be Afraid. However, the premise of it made me and the chat uncomfortable, so we did away with it. I'm not... The premise of the game, it was about um, basically... A child abduction and all of that and I'm not with it I feel like okay to me I feel like I'm not saying it right I feel like I'm not saying it right <laughs> um, VR slender man slender man might scare me in VR I played slender man towards the beginning of me streaming and it didn't do it for me it just gave me a headache because of the way the flashlight was <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you <laughs> Yeah, they went dark, dark. They went too dark. I don't do anything involving kids. Uh, no. Mm -mm. Um, will not be out until, oh, the end of summer? I thought on Steam it said next month. I wouldn't tease y'all and myself like that. I want more of Greta. That sucks. Damn it. Well, um... Yeah, that, that was a dub for me. But yeah, I wanted to see what y'all liked. Kind of like what y'all liked and all the things and so on and so forth. Kids are a no-go. Kids are off limits. Because that is way too real with kids getting abducted and people never seeing them again. Or, you know, whatever. Like, that's not cool. I know that these games dip into the dark side of a lot and maybe that is something for somebody and they won't mind playing it but as a parent I'm not gonna play that so <laughs> free my girl Greta <laughs> Greta ain't do nothing Greta got up from the fucking table before I embalmed her and was banging her head against a wall so um Greta did a lot um major suggestion for the medium yeah the medium is definitely coming but what I want to do is kind of get good with the controls on that because it just seems so difficult. And then I'm not good with the mouse and the keyboard. However, I know that I can um, attach my PlayStation and Xbox controllers, but I want to be able to do everything across the board. You know, I want to be able to do keyboard if I need to and consoles and all of that. So I'm kind of like trying to get better with all of that. So, yeah. Um... 
But yeah, I have all of your suggestions. And March is going to be a really good month. A really scary month. For you guys, not me. For you guys. I'm streaming it now. It's not hard. Okay. So, okay. Greta was bored. Leave her alone. I was taking a long time to prep her. So that might be why she just said, fuck it. And got frustrated and was banging her head against the wall. That could have been it. That could have been it. You'll put the game in the title when you stream the game. Yes, I will. I definitely will. Um, like, Do you like games with zombies? Yes and no. Zombies means a lot of times that I have to like shoot things. And a little um, tidbit about me. I suck at shooting things on game. <laughs> that game will go on forever. Because I won't be able to kill anything. Because I will be shooting everything around it. But it. So yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm trying to see if there was any other suggestions. And as for VR. VR will be coming. I want to say. Maybe by the end of this month or towards the beginning or middle of next. I want to start doing VR because my PC is VR capable. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. But, yes, that's what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to get you guys, like, opinion on some games. And right now we I see the two. But, unfortunately, the Mortuary System won't be out until the end of the summer. But, yeah, any other last suggestions? Any other ones? Any other ones? <laughs> I'm kind of bummed about that. I really want to play that game. In Silence? I think I bought that. Would you be interested in Find Yourself on Steam? I mean, listen, I'll try anything. <laughs> I'll try it. Find Yourself seems... Okay, I I mean, I'll fuck with it. No scares here. See, Logic is brave like me. No scares, none. Find yourself. I'll have to look up that one too. But In Silence, I actually think I've already bought In Silence. Like I said, the popular ones that people were pretty much telling me beforehand, I went ahead and I got those. Um, Killer, oh good. Whoops. Okay. Yes, that game is over. I actually did not um, finish that game, and I won't be playing that game, and that game will be gone from my computer when this is over. <laughs> so, yeah. Wasn't feeling it. Um, have you played Soma? I cannot play Soma. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, grew up watching Friday the 13th and Halloween and all types of other scary shit. Yeah, that's why I'm not scared of much. I do have one phobia, though. I do have a phobia. And I was waiting until somebody redeemed like a Robin fact before I said it. I'll wait until somebody redeems one, and then I'll say it. There is one thing that I am, no, two things, excuse me, that I'm super afraid of. Yeah. Um, horror. Th Our secret below is my other one, but it's an escape room. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Our secret below. I see. I see the redemption. Hold on a second. I want to hear about this. It's an escape room game. Damn, y'all really want me to just out myself? <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, okay. So, I have, and the crazy part about it, the trifling part before I say that, is Last King already knows what it is. He just wants me to say it and embarrass myself, okay? So, here goes. Don't laugh at me. While y'all think I am not scared of anything, there is one thing, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the two things. The most irrational one is going to be the last one. I have something called, and I think you pronounce it, it's either megaphobia or megalophobia. I don't like 
skyscrapers, mountains, the ocean freaks me the fuck out. I don't like unnaturally huge things. It scares the shit out of me. I hate it. Um, the last one is the most irrational one. Yes, the ocean is scary as fuck, but, and especially at night because it's deep as hell. You don't know what the hell lives in there. There's like crash ships and planes and all sorts of fuck. So yeah. Um, I'm going to let somebody Google this other one. I'm kind of beating around the bush on whether I should even tell y'all or not. I don't know. <laughs> the ocean makes me shit my pants. At the Listen, the, the ocean... And they don't even truly know how deep the motherfucker is. Y'all can't tell me y'all not scared of the ocean. Okay, my other one is I have something called globophobia. <laughs> and I will let y'all Google that at your leisure. Okay? Globophobia. Yes, daddy's home. Yes. <laughs> I don't like them. Just, uh, thinking about it. Just, listen. The potential to, like, pop the the sound of them, the everything. No, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I'm going to, I went on a date one time. Because, obviously, you guys know that I love Pennywise the Clown. Because I have a giant Pennywise in my room. But, um, and of course, like Pennywise has his red balloon, like my date dead ass gave me a piggyback ride into the movie theater. Cause there was like red balloons everywhere. He was really sweet, but fuck him now though. But he was really sweet then. Listen, I'm not scared of birthday parties. It's just, I will not go to your child's birthday party if balloons are there. All right. <laughs> so whatever. Yes balloons hey jetta they're laughing at me because i have globophobia it's okay my horse is also really <laughs> see phobias aren't always rational though they aren't always rational i don't even know where i like picked up that one specifically to be honest with you i have no idea where i picked up that one from so it might have been something that happened when I was younger. Maybe a balloon popped and I shit myself. I don't know. But yeah, that's messed up. Y'all leave her. Right, get them, Jetta. Get them. I have feelings, all right? I have, I have feelings. I'm terrified of teeth and the dentist. Ooh, motherfucker, same. Same. I don't like the dentist either. I'm not going to say teeth per se, but the dentist can go straight to hell. Um, don't even worry. My chihuahua is scared of, listen. Okay. I realize it's irrational. I know it's irrational, but I'm never going to want to be around balloons. All right. She's scared of something for once and y'all laughing at her. Right. Jetta. Right. It be your own damn people. It be your own damn people. Talking about, I love you, Robin. Are you scared of anything? And then I say no. But then I decide to be vulnerable and shit. And they're going to say, oh, this motherfucker scared of balloons. Ha. Huh? <laughs> I have a fear of being cannibalized. You know what? Um, That's not irrational. Um... I think it's really normal to be scared that somebody might eat you. <laughs> um, like if someone's feeling real bitey towards your person, I think it's like, you know, yeah, that's, that's not irrational. <laughs> um, I'm scared of worms. Yeah, those can be, eh, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Plus I had, I have like borderline agoraphobia. Remind me what that is. It sounds familiar. 
stay away from Army Hammer. Why is that familiar to me? Parasit. Okay, that's not irrational. Parasitic worms is a very rational thing to be like scared of. I don't fear anything but wasps and me into a paralyzed and shut down state where I can't move or speak. Orpheus, you trying to create a goddamn nightmare. What is wrong? I have a fear of sinkhole. Y'all are giving me new shit. Um, agoraphobia, fear of crowds and social phobia. I wouldn't say I don't like being in crowds and I don't like being around a large group. Like, yeah, mostly because of all the murder and people be crazy in 2021. That's why I don't like crowds. Mostly all the murder. Um, I have a fear of touching greasy foods. Um, sensory things. That's a real thing. And it's the only thing that scares me. And this is coming from someone that handles spiders and snakes. Um, have you ever had um, sleep paralysis? That's scary as fuck. Where you can like see and hear everything around you, but you can't fucking move. I have a fear of mold and dirty bathrooms. Oh, I have a story about a dirty bathroom. But I can't tell it here. So I'm sorry. Oh, Jetta is scared of holes. She's scared of holes. I don't th know if there's a name for it, but I'm afraid of the floor falling out from underneath me. Okay, I don't know how rational y'all motherfuckers think, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this stuff actually is. Um, you know, uh, it's a, it's the it's normal to have a fear of the floor falling from underneath you. I don't know about anybody else, but I'd be scared of that shit. I'd, I'd be scared of that shit. Um, why can't you tell the story? I can't tell the story because the motherfucker follows me and I don't want to hear about it. So I don't want to be a mean person, you know? Um, the Lotus, that Lotus boob meme a few years ago scared me for life. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, when I first had sleep paralysis, it scared the shit out of me. Yo, okay. Sleep paralysis, like, I actually get that semi-often. And I hate it. Last King, I can't be mean. I can't be mean. I can't be mean. Um, the lo what is the Lotus boob meme? Um, basically what I remember it as, I have not seen it in years. It was like a, I don't want to explain it cause Jetta's going to like freak out. <laughs> I take sleeping pills. So I get sleep paralysis, lucid dreams. So often my demons and I are on a first name basis. Do you know a demon named Jeff? Because he comes here often. Let's see. Um, I never had sleep paralysis. I wish I'll never get it. I sleep good always. Listen, sleep paralysis sucks because you literally can't move anything. All I can do is like look around the room. And then I can hear things that are like going on around me. And that, that's it. I'll mute. Give me a thumbs up when I can unmute. Okay. Okay, Jetta has muted. Okay, what I remember from the the Lotus boob meme was basically it was like a boob with like all these weird ass fucking tiny holes all in it. Ain't that the one that y'all are talking about? I think. I think. I'm afraid of not waking up from dreaming. That's not irrational. <laughs> that is, that's fair. God damn it. That, that's fair. Okay, Jetta. It's done. It's over. Okay. The trick with sleep paralysis is you got to recognize it's happening and try to get lucid to get out. Um, Let's see. It helps the dying in your dream thing is a myth. If it helps the dying in your dream thing is a myth. Okay. Soldiers are awful at spreading disturbing shit like lotus boobs. 
I have not seen Lotus boob in a long time. It was a Photoshop flower put on random places. No, there was, oh, okay. Damn it. I'm sorry, Jetta. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Chaotic, how are you? During sleep paralysis, as poor sleep doctors. Um, to help me get out of sleep paralysis, I take deep breaths and try to move my toes. Um, normally it just fades away from me. Thank you for that, um, follow. You, you know I'm talking to you. Okay. I am good. I shared with these mighty fine people that I had globophobia and they laughed at me. And now they're trying to make me feel better by telling the irrational things that they're scared of like cannibalism or the floor falling from underneath them <laughs> let's see i get sleep paralysis whenever i somehow end up sleeping on my back that is common actually um i know you that is i'm more likely to get it if i'm on like sleeping on my back i get sleep paralysis when i move to a new house and i'm moving soon Oh no. Um, let's see. It fades away because your body enters REM one from REM four, giving you control of motor skills. Okay. I'm scared of the dark. Again, a very rational fear to me. Um, please tell me you're gonna play some. Please tell me you're gonna play some what? Um, let's see. I have a fear of being blindfolded. No, that's very rational. That's super rational. To, ha to be scared of having your senses taken away is super rational, okay? <laughs> I'm scared of quiet. Like, you know, the deafening kind of quiet? Like the kind of quiet that's just like, yeah. Yeah. But there is this room, I think like NASA made it or something like that, where it is completely soundproof. It's completely like quiet. And people normally can't last like minutes in there. Um, now my fingertips. <laughs> what would you consider an irrational fear? Balloons. And the crazy part is I know it's irrational, but I can't stop it. Like, yeah, I can't stop. Getting chased by a clown as a kid fixed my phobia of them. That fixed your phobia? Like you're not scared of them anymore? No, it's an underground room where they record, edit music 200 feet underground. Okay, daddy's home knows what I'm talking about. But people can't last in it. I'm, sca I'm scared a tall redhead. And that's on PTSD. <laughs> I'm sorry you had a bad experience. I'm sorry. I'm sure not all redheads are the same. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, I only like quietness when I know other people are around. Yes. I can see that. Yeah. Um, that means you scared of Bryce Dallas Howard? I don't even know who the fuck that is, but cool. <laughs> um, no, I'm not scared of them anymore. No idea why that worked. You know what? Actually, there is a thing where people try to like get the person around their fear to get rid of said fear, but that would not work on me. I would, that would not work on me. If I came into my bedroom and there was just like a room full of fucking balloons no <laughs> no I would die that would be my death scared of the police I'm not gonna touch that but um same I'm not gonna touch that though <laughs> I mean I'm not gonna touch it because <laughs> you know people have different opinions and that's okay kind of a little but same but you know okay 
<laughs> there was a lady who was so terrified of cotton, she couldn't change her daughter's diaper? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Okay. 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 Um, I'm scared of men. I mean, they do be tripping sometimes. They do be tripping. Um, that's another topic for another stream. A private stream. Not a, yeah. <laughs> a talk amongst friends with like-minded ideas. <laughs> Ma'am, I know you remember old 2000s Maury with the lady scared of mu mustard and cotton. I can't say that I do. <laughs> All I remember of Maury is, is that a man or is it a woman or you are not the father? That's all I know about Maury. Um, oh, understandable then. Apolo no, you didn't overstep anything. You didn't overstep. You're good. You're good. You're good. I'm scared of candles. Ooh, finally, irrational as fuck. But I understand. Because I don't like balloons. I'm afraid of garbage disposals. It depends on, like, the, the one in my kitchen or the one that I have paper and shit in down here. Like, that's kind of irrational. But the motherfuckers in the hospital full of needles? Nah. Okay. I'm scared of blenders. I kind of feel like y'all making up stuff now to make me feel good. <laughs> I kind of feel like y'all are making up some shit to make me feel good. <laughs> candles, lit candles with the possibility of burning the house down. No, I'm assuming that she's scared of, he or she, sorry, is scared of the candle itself. Like, that would be completely irrational. But the fear of, you know, I'm also scared of needles. That is rational. And actually, my sister is a phlebotomist. And she told me a story once. I don't know if she's in here or not. But she told me a story once about this man who came in covered in tattoos. Big, huge man. Cried like a baby and slid out the chair and passed out because she was getting ready to stick him with a needle. So, <laughs> I know that's a thing. I'm scared of driving, but I do it dang near every day. I'm scared of other people's driving. Nah, she said she saw... Someone get their lashes burned off. Uh, what the fuck were they doing? <laughs> what were they doing with the candle? Yeah, what, what the fuck were you... If you're putting your eye that close to a candle to have your lashes burned, I kind of feel like you're, that's natural selection. And I don't know that person personally that did it. But I kind of feel like living is hard for you, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, the Gorilla Glue lady. Y'all mean to tell me y'all don't use Gorilla Glue to um smooth down your edges? Now I can't blow out candles? Wait, was that you? If so, my bad. But homie... You can't put your face that close to fucking candles. <laughs> That's, you can't do that. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. How'd you blow out this candle where it... Like, why was it this close to your face? Got to be glue is what you're supposed to use. Um, no, she likes Gorilla Glue. She likes the, she doesn't like slick. She likes cemented. No, I saw a video of someone blow. Oh, okay. Listen, this has happened to me before where I was kind of like talking nonsense and it was really the person's experience in the chat and some of y'all were there for the eyebrow incident. So, Yeah. <laughs> No, they were saying they saw that happen to someone. Okay. Sorry for assuming pronouns earlier. Okay. But no, I can't physical blow out a candle because I'm scared. 
So do you just let them motherfuckers burn out? You be wasting candles and then Bath and Body Works ones is expensive, but they my favorite. I'm scared of the sound of people spitting. Oh, we're not going to talk about that. Mike, I'm scared of ugly feet. Yeah, because Mike is a toe licker. Mike admitted on one of my streams that he likes to suck toes. So, I don't use candles unless someone is around. Yeah, because if you catch your eyelashes on fire, I guess you'll need someone to witness the incident so that I can see it and also to help you. I do know someone who is terrified of people sneezing. I mean, people can have a thing against bodily functions, I guess. I guess that could be a thing. It could. Mm. Like, I... I'm not going to say I'm scared of it, but I hate the sound of people chewing. Y'all just sound like nervous horses. <laughs> I can see that. But yeah, I hate the sound of people chewing. I hate the sound of smacking or hearing spit in somebody's mouth or yeah. I love the sound of people chewing ASMR. Um... You know, there's a lot of money in ASMR. I feel like buying a mic and just getting super close to that motherfucker and clicking my nails together. Like, I've seen some feet and I swear they toenail... The toenail was moving? Oh, no. Wow. Like, the toenail was so bad it had a life of its own? That's tough. Only thing that scared me are supernatural shit and not... Pr Oh, yeah, supernatural shit is um, seafood boil mukbang one day. Listen, I'm so worried about people hearing me breathing or chewing or drinking that I literally mute my mic whenever I have to do it. So I don't know. Chewing ASMRs are like really weird to me. We're all cool, so we're here, so we'll watch you eat. Listen, I've heard of someone paying a girl on OnlyFans money for her to eat a sandwich. Say fucking less. I got half a burger from Burger King right over there. I'd fuck it up if someone's going to give me $20. <laughs> Hearing someone cl clear their throat before spitting. Ugh, like hawking a loogie. That's where they call it where I'm from. I'm Southern. So, ugh. I can only stand to hear animals eating. I can't stand to hear anything chewing. Listen, if someone's going to take my wallet, if it's a Baconator, there's a Wendy's in walking distance of my... That's where the Baconator is from, right? There's a Wendy's in walking distance of my house. Listen, DM me. <laughs> Okay, you can make something happen if you're going to give me your wallet. <laughs> Let's see. Like here, see, I don't like to hear someone just obnoxiously smack like on food. Um, I'm Southern too, so yes, hock and a loogie. Is, okay, yeah, ugh. Yo, that Baconator is where it's at. And listen... No, getting paid to eat a fucking Baconator is where it's at. Should I put extra bacon on it? You want extra, like, just tell me how you want me to eat that motherfucker and I'll make it happen for you, okay? Let's see. Humans, dogs, or cats eating make me want to throw myself out a window. Okay, I had a cat who was evil as shit. Her name was Sparkle. And the one thing that I hated hearing this motherfucker do is lick herself. She would wait until my room was completely fucking quiet and get perch herself on my bed and lick herself. Disgusting. <laughs> so, all, so the room would be completely quiet and all you would hear is her cleaning, of all things, her ass. Why you wait until now? We've had all day. And at that, 
I didn't see her for a good 15 hours a day because she's a fucking cat. She don't, like, yeah, cats don't want to be seen until you want them, you know, they want you to see them. So why you wait until it was time for bed to lick yourself? Rude bastard. Okay, that was my vent. That was my rant. Okay. Was she an outside cat? No, she was inside. She was inside. But, yeah. Let's see. No, the damn... Yes, the licking is... And it's not even licking. That's not licking. That's lapping. They take their the full extent of their tongue. I, I don't understand it. Cats are pretty. She knew what she was... Cats are petty. She knew... I know she knew. I have to post... I'll post a picture of Sparkle in my Discord. She was a ball of sunshine. She was evil as shit. Um, let's see. See, my dad always kind of beat it into my head to like not, you know, smack and all that other stuff. But yeah. Do you have a fear of your nails breaking ever? Look at this. Um, listen, <laughs> I don't have a fear, but I hate this shit. Because it looks so fucking tacky. Look at this. Look at this. <sighs> okay. Y'all scared of letting a cat lick y'all? I'm not scared of letting a cat lick me. I don't want you cleaning your little kitty nether region while I'm trying to sleep. I want you to take that shit out in the hallway. <laughs> or some fucking where. Anywhere but the kitchen. How long have you had your Medusa piercing for? I want one, but I'm worried it won't heal right. I have had my Medusa piercing for about a month now, and I love the shit out of it. The only thing I don't like is I still have the swell bar in mine, you know, the bar that's supposed to be a little bit longer. Um, and every now and then when I'm chewing, I'll catch the back of it and pull it. That's the only thing. But it's healing just fine. Just make sure you take good care of it and you listen to the piercer's instructions and you'll be fine. Um, I'm definitely of having my nails too long. Oh, the longer the better for me. I've had my nails longer than this. I love long nails. Oh, you don't like the post-nut cleaning? Li listen... I feel like pets are rude and they do that shit on purpose. They wait till nighttime when they're in your bedroom. There's no TV on or nothing. And they lick their assholes. Like that. Okay. Let's see. I want the opposite of the Medusa piercing. The Labray, like down here. I can't do that. In the Labray, like here, I think. Ooh. Yeah, I have my nose pierced, and then I want my other side done, and then I want a septum, and then um, I'm going to make my ears um, a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to a half inch, and then I'll be done. I want to start doing my own acrylic nails, but I'm broke, and the materials are expensive. Um, I have to get someone to do my nails. I've had my nails so long that my nail tech had to stand up to paint them. I miss it. Let's see. How do I get a crown? Okay. The crown is Amazon Prime. If you are an Amazon Prime member and you link, link it to your Twitch account, you will get the crown. I'm sorry. I've had my nostrils pierced five times and my skin just hates studs or hoops, no matter how well I take care of them. Ah, see, I had like a little irritation on this one, but it's going away. I have one tattoo, and it's on this shoulder. I have one tattoo, and that's it. But I do want more. I want a um, I want a Pennywise tattoo. I have an industrial in my left ear. See, I want an indu like I want one. I actually want to add a second gauge behind here, actually. Um, I saw someone with a surface stud in the notch of her throat. It looks so pretty. Oh, like a dermal? 
I do want a dermal. I don't know where I would get it though. I got one, but need at least three more. Um, yeah, I want to do tattoos, but tattoos are so fucking expensive. Like this one on my back, I think I paid, and it's just writing. I paid 60 for it, 70, 80. And I feel like, and I know that's on the cheaper end for a tattoo, but for it to be so fucking small <laughs> and just letters is weird. I want to get my, you know what, Mike, get the fuck out of here. Go. Go away. The door. The door. I paid 70 for my writing tattoo on my forearm. Mine is, um, mine is a Winnie the Pooh quote. I have it on the back of, um, I have it back here. But it needs a touch up. I do know that. And I want to get, I want some things added to it. But, yeah. I want a white ink tattoo. Ooh, that would be dope. Ooh. Get one and send me the picture. That would be dope. Mine's a Dragon Age quote. Mine says, um, I can't, the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is you're the only one. It's a Winnie the Pooh quote. Hey there, Proudorius, how are you? I want more ear piercings, a tongue piercing, and a... Listen, I want, um... I couldn't get my tongue pierced. I'm still trying to think of how I'm going to work out with this, and I want braces. <laughs> so, I'll get back to y'all on that. <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We are having an extended conversation I started off by playing three games, well, three demos to let everybody kind of pick what they, um, what they wanted to see me play. And then I told everybody my phobia and they laughed at me. And now here we are. I want both my nipples pierced, but I have to be professional and wear dress shirts for work. Do it. Just wear like an undershirt or some shit. I don't know. I know I'd break my teeth. Hold a minute. I know I'd break my teeth if I got a tongue piercing. Yeah, I don't want... I don't know. And it just seems like the healing time on that would be crazy. Just say with... Just say you got weird nips. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mine are pierced. And if I don't wear a bra, I just do a tank top. Okay. I don't think I'd ever do the um the nipple piercing thing though. Seems painful for me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, contagions in the building. Let's see. They about the size of pepperonis. What? <laughs> what about a septum piercing? Yeah, my septum is gonna be next and then um the other side of my nose. And then I also want um to start gauges on the back like behind these my best friend said it hurt like hell listen i don't want to test it i'll take your word for it i don't want to test it i'll take your word for it y'all go out and get your nipples pierced get back to me let me know if it hurt i want to gauge double zero on my ears these are a double zero they're not that big i want to go to a half inch I have insanely, like, I have tiny ears, though, so I don't want to go bigger than that. But um, with the ear gauging, start off small, like, with the small tapers. I will say that because it doesn't hurt as bad. How often did you gauge up? This, okay, I was gauging my ears before. I, um, I started at the beginning of 2019, and then I stopped. And then when I got back to it, um, towards, I think September of last year, I was like an eight and now I'm at a double zero. So I had already started. Imagine gauging your nipple. Get the fuck out the door, the door. <laughs> Nobody's going to do that. <laughs> Nobody's gauging their nipples. <laughs> people, people do that. Home in it. Wait, wait. I hope nobody ever sees my search history. I hope nobody ever sees my search history. But hold on.
That's a fucking thing. That is, that's a thing. That's a thing. Okay. We're not going to talk about it. Okay. Get it off. Get it off my screen. That's a thing. Okay. Okay. I know that some people gauge their cheeks. I have seen that. And I've seen um, people gauge Medusa's. I've seen people gauge these down here. I've seen people gauge their noses. I'll keep it at my ears. Where did you get your PC? If you don't mind me asking. My PC was a gift. <laughs> Where does play piercing is hand webbing? Like getting the piercing like in here? I don't even want to think about getting a fucking paper cut in that motherfucker, let alone. Like, why? I don't know whether I like or hate it. Tongue splitting. Okay, listen. Listen. I had a whole little thing where I wanted to do that. I got a whole thing. Oh, Squiddy, you looked it up. You looked it up. I'm sorry. I've heard of throat piercing. I'm going to go see. No, y'all don't go look. What are y'all doing? <laughs> Thank you for that sub. Call me Einstein 93. Don't go. Don't go look at it. I shouldn't have did that. I should have waited till after. I'm a horrible influence. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I'm, listen, it's okay. We'll get through this. It caused a little bit of PTSD, but we'll get through it. Okay. I'm sorry. I said it was a thing. <laughs> I was curious because I was like, gauge your nipples. Why? Wait, let me just sit in y'all. Y'all setting yourself up for failure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Somebody had a lock on the lip. <laughs> That's the one I saw. The lock on the titty? That's the one I saw. Okay. You set yourself up. Not my friend piercing her own tongue in high school, then passing out from blood loss. And what? My little brother, um, I have a younger brother. He got his nose pierced in the hallway in at school from someone's locker. They just pierced his shit. And you know what? It came out good, but I feel like that was like a shot in the dark and he got like <laughs> really lucky. <laughs> but yeah, kids are dumb as shit. Yes. Cause there's people who get professional piercings that get infected. So I don't know what he was thinking. So and I don't even know what they pierced it with. I just didn't ask. I know it looks good and it never got infected or anything. But the nipple with the lock had me laughing. Listen, I will leave the nipple gauging to you guys. I will leave the nipple gauging to you guys. Remember the parent trap with the apples? And then, oh, yes, I do. I do remember that. Some people's skin is built different. Clearly. Because even with my nose, I got it done in a very professional shop. Um, they were extremely clean. I followed all the instruction, but I still got like the, um, sometimes people get like a bump or whatever. Like I was able to make it go away, but I, I still got in a professional place. Like you don't, those things can go left or right. I don't know how he did that. He's a brave soul and he's stupid because he's a child. Well, people, I don't want to take the stream there, <laughs> so I'll leave it alone. Do you have any advice for getting color tattoos on dark skin? I only have one tattoo and it is in black ink. Um, I will. So no, I don't really have any like advice on it. I do want color tattoos, but I'm always kind of like weary of how it would turn out because I am dark. So I don't know. Does it stink? I heard that people be smelling they piercings. Uh, no, 
The only piercing that stinks and anybody with ear gauges will tell you, these motherfuckers, when you take this out, smell like death. <laughs> While they're in, no. But when you take them out, it is. Anything that's gauged is going to stink. Because of the skin in there. I had an ex that said his septum smelled like moldy cheese. Like, no, can't relate. <laughs> no. <laughs> Y'all know I have a fear of mold. Something up with, yeah, I don't know why his, that's, nah. I think he might have an infection. He need to check that shit out. Yeah, he need to check that shit out. But yeah, this is the only thing that will stink. There's nothing um, you can do about it. Anything that's gauged is going to have a smell. So yeah. Just keep it clean, please. Let's see, moldy cheese like blue cheese? His piercing smelled like blue cheese? Okay. Okay. <laughs> moldy cheese is a wave, but everything else, yikes. I know people like to eat moldy ass cheese. It's a hard pass for me, boss. I don't even know, dude. He just said no. <laughs> I don't even. Ugh. Okay. Well, you guys. Well, you guys. It has been fun talking and doing all the things. But I have got to feed my faith. I have half a burger left and it's calling my name. If you can hear it over there. Also, what was, okay, did y'all see that in the beginning where someone said my room was fucking trending on Twitter? Is that a real thing? Because if, if no, if, if yes, I feel violated. <laughs> did y'all see that or was it just me? Hello, I'm not sure who you are, but I hope you have a great day or night. Thank you i hope you do the same i hope you do listen y'all were not supposed to bring that into chat <laughs> speaking rain damn it you think you can hear it okay yeah you, it's it's calling my full name yeah they said my room was trending on twitter y'all don't want my raggedy ass room <laughs> that was weird and concerning i don't know is it because of the Pennywise? You have the same bed set as me? So you know how expensive this motherfucker was? <laughs> Unnecessarily? <laughs> Let's see. Um, and then I had... Okay, I, I've wanted a king-size bed for like forever. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to spend my money on a king size bed. And while it is like sleeping on a goddamn cloud, it was not a wise purchase. For something so scratchy, it was hella pricey. I don't know about the scratchy part. What's scratchy? I can sleep on any bed as long as I have my weighted blanket. I want one of those. I want one of those that light work on the bed. Oh, you like that? You like that? Yes, they sell them LED strips at Walmart. Go get you one. <laughs> the glitter on the outside. Oh, mine doesn't have glitter. These are mirrors. I have mirrors on mine. Mine's is lined in um, mirrors. I did see the one with the glitter, though. My bed was like three grand. It's like sleeping on a cloud. Same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um Thank you for that follow pretending not to sleep and it's Costco. Weighted blankets are awesome. I want one. Somebody wow. <laughs> Royal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah. If my bed is trending on Twitter, like my room or whatever, like I tried to make it as nice as possible. Like my walls are painted black and so is my ceiling. 
and then I have lights and shit everywhere. And then I have Pennywise here who is six foot four. And um, soon in the background, y'all will see Jason and Freddie. So didn't see anything on Twitter. So maybe they were wrong. I hope they were wrong because that's weird as shit. <laughs> that is weird as fuck. <laughs> I don't. It's my private domain area, you know. But yes, okay. I need to eat the rest of my burger. And Daddy's Home 105, if you want to see me wa like eat that burger for like 20 bucks, I can make that happen for you. But until then, I do have to go because I am hungry. And I hope y'all have an awesome night. And hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on before y'all go. I need to do something. No later. Hold on. Should we like, I shouldn't have said bye. <laughs> My bad. Let's see. I want to do a raid and I should have thought about that beforehand. I'm stupid. Hold on. <laughs> but I don't know who I want to, to do it on. We're going to, we're going to see, we're going to see, we're going to see. Who's on? Okay, we have, I want to do somebody who is, well, look at that there. I know who I'm going to do it on. I know who I'm going to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on a second, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, here we go. Why are they not popping up? Yo, no. No, why are they not popping up? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Am I spelling something wrong? Or did they just get off before I could do it? No, they didn't. Okay. I know Logic's going to fuss at me for not putting the command for raid so that my people can do it. But I'm going to do that. I swear. I swear I'm going to do it. Here we go. Okay, we are getting ready to raid Royal Family Gaming. Y'all saw him in the chat. And he has been somebody who has been here with me since the beginning. I think we started around the same time or either he started a little bit before me. So we're going to do that. We're going to raid Royal and you're going to show him lots of love and follows and all that shit. Okay. We're going to do a Robin raid. All right. Okay. Hold on. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Show him all the loves, all of it. All of it. Okay, we have 24. We have 24. Thank y'all. I love you. And y'all have a good night. And I'm going to go eat my burger for $20, hopefully.